Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Alex here, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a free build here over on the uh, little testing world playground, whatever you want to call it. But I'm in a two by two trunk area. I'm, pro I'm actually using half of it. But uh, the whole inspiration behind today's video, I already have the blueprint there, is pretty much um, looking back at medieval towns. You have that nice more I don't know, almost industrialized area. Could be a little bit more more up to date than that. But you always have these little buildings and they have walkways and they show up this building because they needed this and that building to make because there was this room for that. And it's this weird little conglomeration mishmashy thing. But I kinda wanna make something off of that little, off of that idea. But I have some inspiration on the side when I was building this. In classic fashion, I'm going to speed up things a little bit and talk when I feel there's something interesting to talk about or what I'm thinking, some sort of little building lesson, and then some nice little music and the rest of it. So, I think I talked long enough. Let's get on to the building. Um, one thing I wanted to keep in touch with the whole medieval design is, one, it was a cost thing, but also it was a space, more of a space thing. In uh, ye old times, stone was very expensive and you only had so much of a footprint to fit on in a narrow street. So that's why the base, is, the first floor is always a small area of stone, and then the second floor is made, usually made out of wood and it juts out a little bit on all the directions if available um, for this for this design i'm thinking maybe some stuff butts up against the back of this but wood definitely was cheaper than stone and 
it's easier to make a bigger second floor, well, easier and cheaper to make a bigger second floor than to match it with the first floor, which is why you'll see in a lot of really old Renaissance building towns and stuff, you'll have the floor, second floor and third floor push out a little bit more than the main floor itself. So I wanted to keep that in mind and also make something that looks unique. Um, the build palette itself, I kept it kind of simple. You can always mix and match. Um, I just did some stone variants with the first floor, give some grays. I mixed between the stone bricks and the cobblestone for texture, and then just some woods to differentiate the sections and stuff. And then blue glass, because that's actually one of my favorite ones to use. Then white stained glass. Just kind of has that fresh, clean look to it. This little walkway here was one of the most, I wanted it to be one of the unique areas of the build, but it's also one of the hardest things to build in a small footprint. I ended up playing back and forth with, with it a little bit because I also wanted windows on either side of it. So trying to get that fit in such a small area was uh, rather fun. But honestly, I do recommend if you're doing a medieval build, make it a little bit bigger. That way you can have a nice, more sizable walkway. I ended up playing around with all shapes and designs 
The final product I am happy, but a lot of hair pulling to get there. Roofs are always one of the hardest things to try and make look nice on a build. I mean, you have your typical A-frames, which, yeah, it looks good, but trying to make them stand out and trying not to put windows in there, because sometimes it's near impossible to do. Uh, one of the things that I recently got the bright idea for, when I was doing, I want to say it was the second episode of Reconstruction that I did with, my, with one of my buddies, um, raising up a section of the roof in the middle, so making like one, uh, one, one line of wall, your wall material higher, you can sort of see in the front, and then instead of using stair blocks, you use half slabs and raise it up half a slab at a shot to meet the rest of the roof. And for the most part, it's worked pretty well. It's always meet, met up to the roof before I have to do the final peak, but it just adds a little bit of a raised section, gives you something interesting to look at. But roofs, honestly, it take a couple seconds, slow down, and play around with the designs and ideas. Um, half slabs and full blocks are your friends, and don't be afraid to mix and match. Uh, for much larger builds, um, you can sort of see the tower in the background there. I use full blocks for the little peak up there, whereas the smaller builds, I stuck with a more traditional staircase design for a lot of smaller roofs. Don't be afraid to play around with it is what I'm trying to get across. And in the end, like that, you meet right up with the rest of the roof and it ends up looking, in my opinion, pretty neat. Definitely stands out and looks nice. You have that little ray section, draws your attention, makes it all come together nice and neat instead of just having your straight up A-frame, which you can sort of see on the back of this roof as I complete it.
one of the things that I have been experimenting with, and I've actually been enjoying the results, is making a ceiling or a false second interior roof or whatever you want to call it on the inside of buildings. One, it breaks up the whole high peak of your traditional roofs. And when you're finished decorating the room, pulls it all together a little bit better. Um, I do recommend you don't use your floor color. Um, I'll leave that up to your discretion. But here I'm, honestly, I was, now that I'm looking at it now, maybe swapping out for one of the Netherwoods. Getting that nice red in there to bring the whole rich, like, almost dessert-like vibe to it all together. But for here, I'm just keeping things simple. I have a very simple palette. I don't want to add a bunch of random stuff. For those of you that have seen past videos, I'll start off with like three or four blocks and when I'm done, I add this, that, and the other thing and suddenly I have half the inventory's worth of blocks. So I'm trying to keep this one simple just to hopefully spark some inspiration.
I do not care what you say to me. I have made an accidental face, and I just see a surprised house with a mustache for that build. And one thing I will say, um, one, this is, it to me it feels like three buildings, but those two definitely fit together, making one build with two sections. Um, don't be afraid to go back and forth to different areas. I mean, there is a third section of this entire build I haven't even touched, and wrote, and the main, and the other parts of the structure is pretty much done. So, for the little side portion there, one of the things to keep in mind is I was thinking like a storage area for this. So for the little, just to decorate those closed areas, I ended up using the wall blocks and honestly made me feel like a ye old garage door is the best way I can word it. So, uh, just keep that in mind with the wall blocks and how they're acting now versus a couple updates ago. It's almost like your uh, vertical half slabs, even though we don't have those yet. Would love to have those. Please put them on the little add to the game list. It would make decorating so much more fun. And another little thing, if you have a huge flat section and you need to add a little bit of shape or texture to it, um, steer blocks and half slabs are your best friends. Um, if the wall can do it, usually in the corners we'll implement half slabs, or if I'm doing like a broken up medieval wall, put a half slab because you will be able to see through it. But with the stair blocks, you can definitely finagle it where you can, it's still a solid wall, but you have those little divots on the inside. For here, I'm just using it to break up the wall because otherwise it's going to be smooth, flat with just a difference of texture, um, color blocks. So you're going to have smooth, flat gray and smooth, flat oak, which isn't really exciting. So I just mix it up with the stair blocks to add a little bit of a divot in there. Makes me think almost like, um, kind of like a rain gutter is the best word that's coming to mind.
Okay, and just a couple minor changes here on my add buttons, windows, and all that. Uh, one of the things that I was thinking of is keeping this little bottom floor section of the cobblestone with the uh, oak building there completely separate and having it accessible from the second floor. I thought that would have been unique. Um, I just added some contrasting buttons just to add a little bit more texture, add some more color up top. I can't help but do a little decoration. Um, our mustache house now has dimples. But that little bridge there is one of my favorite pieces. It, it came, I do think for the size it came out beautiful. Having multiple points of entry on this floor going up and then goes over to the other building which you can leave straight out of. I think is really unique. And I just light, love the huge open windows. Goes right out to the little balcony. And I was thinking just having this way enter. Um, I did change it up a little bit. A little stair block there for going up and down. Uh, I'm thinking of something. I think it's that color contrast I don't like. Um, yep, I'm just going to pull... What am I doing? Uh, I'm not even going to pull up the HUD. And place it upside down. Well, that way it looks more normal with the door shut instead of having that one off-color wood block. And then nice little handy dandy closet there. Knowing me, I'm about to put us I'm about to put the Creeper King in there, so come on. Find the armor stand. You you, you scroll past it. I'm grabbing a pumpkin. Oh right, right. I think I remember what I was thinking now. I was gonna surprise y'all with a snow golem. Make it figure that'd be funny. So a little surprise snow golem in there really quick. But that is pretty much going to be it. I'm, hope, I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit more of a flyby, but probably not. So I'll end off with this. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you have anything you want to see in the future, any comments, things you want to see, pretty much anything, just comment down below. I love reading comments and I love replying to them. And I do try to have more content along the way at a regular pace. It's kind of hard with work and stuff and all the craziness going on in the world, but that's what I like about Minecraft. It's a way to get away from that for a little bit. So this is Sergeant Alex, and I do hope you have a nice day. Until next time, bye.